Hey guys, it's Di from Be Mommy with Style and today I'm working on getting some office organization going. So today I have got some things to put above this cabinet that I have for storage in my office. And you can see I have my desk that's just floating here in the middle. I ordered these organizers from Pottery Barn online to hopefully make the desk area a little bit more organized. There's a large white erase calendar and some different file holders and things. So I'm going to put these above this area and see if it kind of organizes the miscellaneous papers and everything for the room. It's very shiny. I know these would not be everyone's style, but I actually love how kind of subtle yet flashy these are because of the silver and they bounce so much light. I think it's going to be great in here to play off the gray and the furniture and it's going to kind of give it like a little bit more kind of sophisticated feel, but I love that with these high ceilings, um, you know, I need the organization items to be a little bit lower so I can reach them all, obviously, but I think that this is going to make it look like it takes up more space than it actually does. So I think that's going to be great in this area. Okay, it's up to me to get this on the wall and I hopefully don't destroy the wall in the process. So they came with anchors and then screws that you screw in, and then on the backs of these, they have like just um, some areas that the screws can go right on there. So I'm gonna attempt to get these on the wall, but I really like how they look. Um, I think that it just kind of gives it a little bit of a different vibe up on the wall and I like how it kind of ties in the silver gray. So I'm gonna go out of here and get these boxes out of here and work on getting this up on the wall. The three pieces sitting on the buffet area and you can see like the center one is gonna go centered in the middle and I can kind of write my schedule and I can write dry erase notes on it as well. We really love dry erase um, boards at our house. So I thought that this would work great to kind of remind myself when I have key appointments and things like that. So I'm gonna try to center that above this console and then have the two um, smaller boards on either side, I think. And this one's magnetic and you can put like clips and cup holders and things like that on there. And then the file cabinet, you can just put like books or things that you wanna keep kind of handy and up in that one. So I think that these should work pretty well. And I'm gonna go get the screwdriver to put the anchors into the wall so that hopefully they stay and I can still write on them and everything. Um, but it seems pretty straightforward and the anchors are just drywall anchors so it should go right into the drywall. So I got those up on the wall using the power drill. It was actually pretty easy. So I'm going to go ahead and put this first one up on there. So I've got two down and one left to go and I wanted the ones on the sides a little bit offset down just a little bit. And I'm gonna try to find uh, like a long planter with faux plants to set on this and then go in the middle. And then I'll have my Scentsy warmer on one side and then something else on the other side, maybe just like office tools. And I thought that that would be a nice way to arrange it so I can kind of fill that void space underneath. But then I'll be, cause this is kind of like a month at a glance, but I'll be taking things on and off the ones on the side a little bit more. So I thought it'd be nice to kind of offset them down than just rather have them in a straight line. So now the real trick is the first two went okay, but now the problem's gonna be getting that one offset the same as that one. So wish me luck. So my husband, the engineer, would probably have a way better day, way of doing this, but he is on a work trip and I've usually the person that puts up things on our walls because he, you know, was gone so much before um, that I just started doing all that to get us settled in when we would move. So on the bottom, because I'm offsetting this to a different distance, I'll normally measure from whatever the piece of furniture is. And so this one, I've, I have it at approximately 10 inches. It goes up the wall 10 inches and then I have it just sitting right underneath. And then these are approximately three inches apart. So I measured that and then I just made a mark on the wall here. So when I hold this up, I'm gonna set it on top of the tape measure like over there and make sure it lines up with my line on the wall and then hopefully the goal is is that it should be in approximately the same spot as that one down there. So let's give it a try and see if it works. Okay, last one to go up on the wall.
And there is the last one up on the wall. It is pretty close. I just did some measuring and I got it pretty close. So I tried to get 10 inches off of the table down here and then three inches in between. And then these are 11 inches wide between the screws. So it's pretty darn close. Hopefully should work. And I really like what this is gonna do organization-wise for that space. It really fills up the space nicely. So now I just need to be on the hunt for what I'm thinking for down here is a long flower kind of planter. And I will kind of decorate the middle of this up with that. But now I can get to organizing on the top of it. So if you guys enjoyed seeing this office organization area come together, and I'll be doing a full office tour in about a week or so as I get the final decorations put up on the wall and get a few more things done around in here, I'll do an office tour. If you want to know where I got the things on the wall or any of the furniture, I'll try to link it down below. But the items on the wall are from Pottery Barn, and the furniture down below, you can find it by searching Magnolia Manor. It's usually like on Overstock or on Jocelyn Main and different sites like those. Uh, you're able to find it those places. So thanks so much for watching, and have a great day.